Terry and I have known each other since 1960, over 50 years. We've been teachers together, we've been coaches together, and I'm just so glad of the work she's done at Stang because she made Stang strong again. We had a little lull, but thanks to Terry's leadership, uh, Stang is back and strong. Terry, we go back a very long time, back to the early days when you first started teaching at Stang when the faculty was small and we had all the sisters of Notre Dame there with us. I remember you as a teacher and as a coach. You did such a good job with the girls in those days, in your coaching days. And the faculty was small, so we had many good times together, parties and uh, Christmas times and get-togethers where the faculty and students kind of knew one another. I don't remember you back in your school days. In those days, I kind of only knew basketball players, but I do remember you as an early teacher, and then through the years as you became a teacher of my own children, and Katie with her science, and how she said at BC it was like a beginner course from the good science courses she had with you, and you where Sheila's field hockey coach, and I remember all those days and how good you were with uh, the students and faculty, and uh, how you've done so much to help Stang be the Blue Ribbon School that it is even today. And I appreciate you all you've done, and we're going to you're going to be missed by all of us. She's a lady of conviction. She's a person who believes in, in what she does, and she sticks to her convictions. Her beautiful mind and her wonderful faith have combined together and given her a base upon which to operate. And she's also a woman of integrity. She lives a life without deception. She is sincere, and she is honest, and she just tries to bring out the best in others without compromising who she is. She's also a lady of action. She's a woman who, who uh, makes things happen. You look at her as a student, you look at her as a teacher, you look at her as an athlete, you look at her as a coach, you look at her as an administrator, you look at her as a, uh, as a president of your school in these times to bring the numbers in, to keep the school afloat and to keep it going. Now, that's pretty spectacular. I first came to know Mrs. Dougal in the early 80s when, um, when she was a head field hockey coach. And I can remember her taking us into chapel for prayer before the game. And she would always say to us, you know girls, you represent Bishop Stang High School, both on the field and off. And we always took that to mean, you know, no pushing, no swearing, no, no foul play. Because if we did do that, um, we, would, we would run the next day, we'd run sprints, and it would be awful. But um, Mrs. Dougal wasn't a slave driver. She was just a really great teacher, and she taught us that we had to be responsible for ourselves on the field and off. Um, and that's a lifelong lesson, and it's a good lesson. And uh, I, you know, I just want to say thank you for that, because that was just a great lesson. And I'm trying to teach my daughter who goes to Stang now that lesson. And uh, I, I can't say enough positive about Terry. I never would have predicted that the coach I met on the field hockey field my freshman year would become such an important part of my family and powerful mentor to me in my personal and professional life. Um, quite frankly, when I first met her, she really frightened me. And the freshman year me is surprised that I can even hold a conversation with her today. But that being said, the lessons that she taught me have carried me through life even to today. So what we learned on the field hockey field of walk it off, you're not a pansy, has taught me an inner strength that I still depend on today. And I'm really grateful that she's still teaching those lessons to my own kids today. I met Terry Dougal as a freshman at Bishop Stang High School 30 some odd years ago. I had her as a biology professor. And no, I don't remember what the, the grade was, but over time I've developed a relationship with Terry through my wife, who's very good friends with her family, to the point where Terry is godparent for our daughter. So I feel blessed to have Terry in our lives from the point of we have three sets of grandparents, my parents, my wife's parents, and we have Terry. Well, she's like a grandmother to us. I mean, I know she's not related at all, 
but she really is like a grandmother character. She encourages us to do well and she really takes on the role very well because I mean she lets us get away with stuff our parents don't but um, I really am glad to have her as my grandmother and my godmother and um, I wish her the very best of her retirement. My papa has taught me a lot of things and my favorite one is when she taught us how to take the wrapper off a straw and blow it because that was really fun because whenever we would go to a restaurant I would take off the straw and spit it at my brother. I love getting to spend time with Fava. She's smart, she's funny, and she always knows how to have a good time. When I'm feeling bad sometimes, she knows how to make me feel better. Hi Terry, greetings from Africa. I'm really sorry I can't be there to celebrate this special evening with you tonight. But through the magic of photography, here I am. And I want you to know I, even though I'm not there in body, I am there in spirit. It was 36 years ago this summer that you interviewed me for a job at Bishop Stang. And since then, my life has never been the same. You've been my colleague, my department chairperson, my principal, my president, and most importantly, my dearest friend. Since I've been at Stang, one thing you have taught me is that you've always led by example. You've always demanded the best from yourself, which in turn has made everyone else do the same. It is your example that has made me the teacher I am today, always striving to be the best I can be. It is your hard work, your dedication, your love for Bishop Stang that has made Bishop Stang what it is today. We will greatly miss you and we all love you. Terry, starting in the late 80s when you asked me to chair the Stang auction, at every auction meeting, every advisory board meeting, every committee meeting for capital campaign and facilities, you said thank you to me. And I always felt appreciated and I always felt good about doing whatever it was I was doing for staying at the time. So now it's my turn to say thank you to you. So Terry, thank you for being back in the late 70s and the early 80s, a great teacher in biology and physiology. So much so that now as each body part is falling apart, I know exactly what the doctors are talking about when they're telling me the next one's going. Thank you for setting an expectation of excellence in everything that you do, to the point that I'm proud and that my sons had the opportunity to attend Stang and have such a great experience there. Thank you for setting a direction for the future of Stang. I feel good about still being involved after all these years and the time I spent working on the future of Stang with you. And Terry, thank you for your friendship and all the memories you've given me through my experiences at Stang from 1978 to 2012, and I know well into the future. Thank you. Kind of shocked to be sitting here because back in the late 70s in biology with Mrs. Dougal, it's very difficult to call it Terry, Mrs. Dougal barely getting out of biology. Now I'm sitting here speaking on Terry's behalf I have to say, Terry, thank you very, very much for giving me the foundation. And uh, after me getting out of Stang, giving me the, uh, the love of Stang, the appreciation of Stang, to make sure that my kids are going to Stang now and to make sure that I got more involved with Stang. 44 years, Terry, unbelievable. I look back, and I was with you probably for over well over 35 of those years, Terry. So um, the love that you brought to Stang and the love that you are leaving with Stang right now is going to carry staying into the future where my kids, I hope, will be sitting here saying the same things that I'm saying about your memory at Bishop Stang for making Bishop Stang what it is today. So Terry, thanks. My acquaintance with Terry Dougal began 33 years ago when my eldest daughter enrolled at Bishop Stang High School. It soon became apparent as a parent that Terry was an exceptional teacher and a very good motivator of students. This reputation and stature as a leader among the faculty led to her appointment as the principal first and then later as the president of the school. My service with her for four years on the President's Advisory Council made me acutely aware of her exceptional uh, leadership skills and organizational talent. Those skills and talent 
uh, led to uh, the continued growth of Bishop Stang High School through all those years and its continued uh, excellence. I personally think that the most important part of your legacy is what you have left for the young women that you have known. Your success has cracked that proverbial glass ceiling for them and your success as a teacher, a mentor, and an administrator is such a fine example. What began as respect for a terrific teacher with wonderful classroom skills soon grew to admiration when we watched her take a field hockey team that had little chance of making state tournament all the way to the state final. But it was as her business manager that I really came to see her vision, her wisdom, her integrity, her remarkable problem-solving abilities, always driven by her deep faith. We all owe Terry Dougal an enormous debt of gratitude for all that she's given to Bishop Stang High School. I think that along with John O'Brien and the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, the first ones, Terry has been one of the greatest influences on the charism and the mission and the success of Bishop Stang High School. She is probably the force behind the mission of our school. She's the heart. She's done more for the school than people really know. A lot of it's been behind the scenes. You know, it just works quietly, keeps us on track, and uh, helps the whole faculty to, to know what's really important, keeping God first. Terry, I wish you well in retirement. Enjoy those days. Make sure you do the things that you put off for the last 40 something years. Have a great time. And God bless and best wishes. I wish you well in your retirement, your well-deserved retirement, and I hope you have good health and able to take the trips you're looking forward to and do whatever it is that you wish to do in your leisure. So good health and happiness in your retirement. Terry, we wish you well. You have done so much for us, so much for the community at Bishop Stang, so much for every, anyone who knows you and associated with you in any way. Now it is a time for you to enjoy the beautiful things that you put together, that the beautiful leadership that you offered, the beautiful way you cooperated with God's love for you and love for Stang. And therefore, Terry, uh, anything we can do, God bless you. We love you. We appreciate what you are all about. And uh, we, will, we will be looking for you. Thank you very much. Mrs. Dougal, on the occasion of your retirement, I wish you every bit of health and happiness, and I hope that you get to accomplish all the things that you hope to do in your retirement and enjoy the rest of your life. Terry, congratulations on a much-deserved retirement. While I'm sad to see you leave as leader of our school, I am really looking forward to witnessing you step into your new role, and that is enjoying Bishop staying through the eyes of a grandparent. And while we don't know what that role is going to look like for you, I am certain of one thing. Come graduation day, you will leave your cowbells at home. Terry, I want to wish you and us a fabulous retirement as we all grow old together. I wish you the very best for your retirement and um, I really want you to have fun and be able to do all those things that you always say you're going to do but you never have time to do because you have to work. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to wish you all the greatest memories you can ever have in some of the best years of your life. I want to wish you a happy retirement and I hope you get a um, dog. Terry, my wish for you is that after you've rested and you kicked your heels up a bit, you find new dreams to pursue. There's just too much talent and knowledge and goodness wrapped up inside of you for you to keep it to yourself and do nothing. Who knows what new adventures you'll end up doing? Who knows where they will take you? So I wish you the best, I wish you well, and start looking for those new dreams to pursue. Terry, my best wishes for a future filled with rest, relaxation, world travel, and plenty of trips to Hawaii. I look forward to seeing you at the ribbon cutting ceremony for phase one and all the phases after that. 
Have a great time. Congratulations. Good luck, Terry. Good luck. Have a great retirement. I'm going to miss you on our every single Wednesday morning for the last two years at 8 o'clock in the morning meeting for our capital foundation, capital pledges, calling people, get everything going. I'm sure you'll be relieved of not having to do that anymore, Terry. But good luck in the future and enjoy it. We will miss you, miss you, miss you. Terry, as you retire, you can look back with all that you have accomplished with a great deal of satisfaction. You, your willingness to uh, interact with people and um, assist in individual situations will always be uh, gratefully remembered by everyone that you interacted with. I wish you good health, happiness, and contentment th throughout your retirement years. As a retired teacher, I wish you time, time, just to um, relax and enjoy that extra cup of coffee, read the newspaper, meet a friend for lunch, um, have a cup of tea, rest on the sofa for 20 minutes, watch a masterpiece theater mystery and stay awake for the conclusion. Also, plan a vacation and do it right away. You deserve to be pampered, Terry. So congratulations and God bless. Terry, like Roseanne Baca and John O'Brien, your influence will always be felt at Bishop Stang High School. Congratulations, God bless, and welcome to a less stressful lifestyle. Terry, I, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. For me, as a, a brand new teacher 33 years ago, the way you took me under your wing it became like a second mom to me. Um, you know, I, I'm glad that I'm retiring with you because Bishop Stang High School just won't be the same without you. So I'll meet you at the pool. <laughs> <laughs>